All right, <laughs> we're up and running. We are broadcasting live from Dayton, Ohio, from the world universal headquarters of ABN Financial Group, part of the awesome Alliance team here in Dayton, Ohio. It's like, how cold is it outside? I want all you, uh, all you people in the Southwest and on the West Coast and in Florida to feel sorry for us here in Dayton, Ohio. We're 31 degrees today. The high, <laughs> the high is now. It's like 10 a.m. and the high is now. It'll only get colder. It'll go to 30 degrees at 2 p.m. and 28 degrees at 5 p.m. And it's gonna be cloudy. They're predicting snow. Um, so they're predicting snow. Okay, so um, Karen Musel, I know you can one-up me on this one, so I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm glad to be here at Dayton, Ohio, broadcasting to all you all out in conference call land. we got 18 loyal followers, so I appreciate you all being on the call. We're fired up, man. Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. Hanukkah's coming. Kwanzaa's coming. Something's coming, man. <laughs> you always got to look forward. I, I always like to look forward to what's coming. You know, because dwelling on the past gets you nowhere. Except for fond memories. But memories are memories. Memories are, you know, actually they kind of make up who you are today. But I like looking forward to making more memories, good memories in the future with my family. And um, so... Welcome. Glad you all are out here. See, I'm just vamping, so we got 20 people on. Wow, that was a jump. <laughs> I feel like I'm in church, man. <laughs> the people kind of shuffling in. It's funny. I had someone ask me, um, you know, I send out, oh, you know what, I didn't even... You know, I, I, I emailed Blast right the day before that we have a conference call, and I had someone text me, or, uh, yeah, text me, hey, I, I really need more advance notice for these conference calls. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I will give you advance notice. Every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern, <laughs> we have our agency call. Okay, so I'm going to send another one out. Uh, agency call starting now. <laughs> All right, so um, Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> Andrew Peters, man, Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> That's pretty good, man, rhymes. Okay, so I was, I was driving my car yesterday, driving around. I had all kinds of stuff going on, and, you know, I was just like, you know what? I need to be more joyful because I had like different things weighing on me and different people I was praying for. They're going through just some serious stuff, like serious health things. And, you know, it's just kind of dwelling on this and dwelling and, um, you know, and, and all this stuff kind of weighing on me. And I feel like sometimes I, I, maybe feel too much. I don't think you could feel too much for someone else, but I didn't want it to get me down. I, I, I feel compassionate towards them, but I didn't want to get me down. So, so I, I stopped into church, okay? And I sat there in church, you know, kind of in front of the Blessed Sacrament and just sitting there in church and just, you know, talking to God, talking to the Lord and Ask him, you know, can you please help all these people I'm praying for? They're going through some tough stuff, either financially, health-wise. And in my mind, I was like, like, I was listing the list of of person after person that I've heard about that, you know, that um, even people I don't know. And um, I'm just kind of sitting there going, okay, <laughs> it's in your hands now. And... And then I, I said, you know, I need to be more joyful. I need more joyful about 
everything that the fact that I can be sitting in front of you, you know, I mean, and then, then I start thinking, he kind of put on me, man, look at all the stuff that you have, that stuff that I gave you, stuff I blessed you with, my family, my business, um, my relationship with God, all these things. And, and it was like, you know what? <laughs> I got a lot to be joyful for. Really, I got a lot to be joyful for. And what's really cool is when I walked out of church, boom, it was like, you know what? I will decide to be joyful because I've got a lot to be joyful about. So I walked out of there joyful. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to decide that I wanted to be joyful instead of, uh, I don't trust me, it wasn't depression. I wasn't, I don't get really depressed. It stuff weighs on me and, and it, yeah, I just want it so bad for other people. It's that yearning for someone else that it's like, Lord, please help them. They're going through so much stuff, give them strength. You know, and, and I, I hear them, you know, feeling weakness and vulnerability and I just, I want to encourage them. And, you know, as much as I, I can only do, you know, just, I wasn't depressed, but it was just, you know, you know how it is. But just in this, it was like, man, I'm going to be joyful. <laughs> and, uh, and so part of that was just giving it up, not, you know, there, there's nothing I could do about it. And that's a realization. What I could do is what I did, which was pray about it and, you know, get before the Lord and talk about it. And then, bam, it was like, wow, it's like a weight. Maybe it was a weight. It was really a weight off my shoulders. I felt. Oof, like, you know, this is awesome. What an awesome opportunity to live and breathe and, you know, walk humbly with your God. So why do I say that? Because, man, if there's ever a season to be joyful, this is a season to be joyful. Not only because of the reason for the season, of the Christmas time season, the Hanukkah time season, the Festivus time season, the Kwanzaa season, the holiday season, but to appreciate the things you've been given. And it's, it's a way that I, I always choose to live every day is to be grateful for things I've given, whether it's this season or any season, right? Sometimes this season can be the most depressing season for a lot of people because they dwell on the things that they don't have. They dwell on the people that they no longer have in their life um, due to death or they went away or they're not local anymore and Christmas just isn't Christmas anymore. You know, that the feeling of loss, instead of focusing on the feeling of fulfillment, the feeling of what you have to appreciate. So what I encourage you during this season is to dwell on that and think about that and think about how awesome this business is in the context of what you can appreciate, right? And so... I appreciate you being on this call because maybe you're looking for that extra, you know, the extra thing to get you over the hump, to get you over yourself, you know, because the business is a business of overcoming yourself to become a better version of yourself. You know, success is always uphill, right? This is the John Maxwell thing. Success is that way. Success is not that way. <laughs> it's always that way. And it's kind of funny because heaven's that way too. And that other place is down this way. <laughs> I kind of use any analogy that helps me keep climbing. So we got to keep climbing, gang. Got to keep climbing, man. Keep putting that one foot in front of the other. So I was in church this morning. And, and so the gospel they were reading just, I was thinking, okay, Lord, what can I share with my people? What can I share with your people? And um, so this gospel was read, and it just like hit me. That's why I talked about this. So I'm going to wrap it up with this. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 on. Okay, so it says, Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts upon them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. 
The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine, but does not act on them, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. Foundation. Okay, so listen. Who listens to these words and acts on them? Listens to the words and acts on them. You can come to meetings. You can come to TWCs. You can listen all day long. But until you act on them, you are building your business on sand. Foundation of rock starts with you listening, believing this, and then acting. See, this belief is evidenced by action. Your action will represent your belief in all four ladder, the all four levels of belief. The ladder of belief. When you climb this ladder of belief, you put in the action, and that is the solid foundation of your business for you and your family. If you don't act, then this is all sand. And the first little thing that comes your way that the wind blows, the storms come, the flood comes, will wipe you out. It will wipe you out of the business. But when you listen, believe, and take action, okay, the believe part is action. Again, your action shows how much you believe. Boom. Katie barred the door. It's all over but the shouting. The victory has been won. You just have to act out and keep acting on it. Keep acting on it day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And then your business is rocking. You're building it on solid rock. So nothing that comes your way, that the enemy is throwing your way, the wind buffeting your house, the floods that come, will shake you, and you will still be with us. Anyone who's hung with us has become successful. We have a 100% success rate. Anyone who's stuck with us for the long term is making six figures or close to it. They're making the business work because they hung in there long enough. And they hang in there when they listen, believe, especially in you, and take action. Does that make sense? So hopefully, man, listen and act. So we've got 30 plus people on this conference call. Here's what I challenge you to do. Show me you believe. Let's get at least one policy issue paid this week. Whatever it takes. If you gotta write your family